what's your papa with you thank you for clicking this video and you already know what we doing today not today 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 i'm gonna be doing something cute simple and something you can try at home of course and it's gonna be very easy i'm gonna go step by step don't mind the noise that's my neighbors we're gonna be doing something cute which is making a little snack not just any snack okay something very healthy and nice and good so we're gonna go ahead and make some dip peanut butter apples if you guys don't know what that is stay tuned keep watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below and see the full video and seeing a step-by-step -step. so stay tuned for that okay let's get into it the things I will be using is a cutting board a knife and I also will be using apples and peanut butter that's it so this is a very simple video you guys will be seeing me use the peanut butter down the line in this video but don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below and stay tuned to see the finishing results at the end first things first you want to go ahead and thoroughly wash your apples and once you do that we can go ahead into the next step Then you want to wrap up your apples and go ahead and start preparing to cut them up. So make sure you got your peanut butter because this is very much needed in this video. So stay tuned. First thing you want to do is cut right down the middle of the apple. What you want to do is cut like an angle towards in the middle of that to get the root of it and the seeds out. And once you do that, it should pop right off. You don't want to cut all the way down because then you'll cut the apple in half. So make sure you don't cut all the way down. Just enough so you can know that it pop off all the seeds in the root. So just to clarify what I was saying is all you got to do is cut the apple in half. Go ahead and make like an angle cut in the middle to take away the roots and the seeds from the middle. And it should pop right off. And then that's the next step. And then just stay tuned for the next step because I'm going to go ahead and continue doing the rest of the apples. Okay, for the next step, you want to take the top and actually shave that part off. So once you start actually peeling it off, it'll be much easier. You could just peel it right straight down. You just want to remove all the hardness. So that's why I cut that part off on the top of the apple. So if you guys want to try that, go ahead. You don't have to do this step, but when peeling your apple, you're going to have to cut it off anyways. So basically, I'm just cutting off the top where the roots and stuff was just because that to me is the hardest part. So I just be cutting that part off. But if you don't want to, you don't have to. You can just peel it. And yeah, so I'm going to go ahead and continue doing that. And I'm going to speed this up. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below and click that notification button because it's there for a reason. Of course. So now what you want to do is actually just shave off the rest of the skin and that is what I'm going to do. I'm going to speed this up because I don't have to explain it again because it's very self-explanatory. And once you shave off all the skin, it should look like two bald head igloos. Now, once you shaved off all the skin from the apples, what you want to do is go ahead in and start cutting it in an angle shape. 
and you should get like apple slices it should look like apple slices but first you want to go ahead and rinse off your apples before you do all that and that's what i'm going to do so stay tuned keep watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe down below and click that notification button because it's there for a reason of course and we're going to get into it cutting your apples in like slices you should do like in an angle and it should give you sliced apples but if you do want to do a different shape you could you could do triangles rectangles squares whatever you want to do is your preference but i like doing sliced apples in like a, a angle cut shape okay And once you're done, you should have some nice, fresh apples cut the way you want it. And we're going to go ahead and get into the next step after I give you this close up. Okay. So this step is actually very easy, very quick. Okay. First, you want to rinse off your apples because after you cut them and everything, you want to make sure it's not no extra apples linging off the apples and stuff like that so that's what i want to do i'm going to go ahead and rinse off the apples And what I do is actually drain off the water because I don't want my apples soggy and I just let that sit in the refrigerator or I just let it sit out. And I'm going to go ahead and just rinse off the little tools I use, which is the cutting board and a knife. But this is the apples and we're going to go ahead and get into the next step. So basically you want to get a bowl to be able to put your peanut butter in and you're going to know what I'm talking about in a minute. So what you want to do is just take your peanut butter. You can put as much peanut butter if you want. It don't matter because it's your preference but what i do is actually take a couple of spoons probably two or three dip it on in there and then pop it in the microwave okay So this is the peanut butter. What I actually do is when I pop it in the microwave, I put it on 30 seconds or a minute. It depends on if the peanut butter is melting as fast as I want it to be. And after that, you should have like a thick consistency, runny, but not too runny enough so you can be able to drizzle it type thing okay so what you want to do is go ahead and take it is drizzling that is what you want so you want to take your apples you can go ahead and dip them whatever you want to do you can just drizzle it on there you can dip it in there you can just put it on there So basically what I'm going to do is just go ahead and dip them and probably just put some on a spoon and put it on there. But you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about at the end. So stay tuned and keep watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to see the finishing results and how this came out. Okay. Then once I dip it and apply it onto the plate, it should look like that. And I'm just going to go ahead and drizzle some peanut butter on top. Make it look good and nice and pop it in the freezer. And then once you're done, you can go ahead and eat it.
And I remind you, you only use two things in this video, which was peanut butter and apples mainly. This is an on-the-go snack you guys can do. And very easy, very healthy. You got your fruit and you got protein because of the peanut butter. And what can you do? You cannot go wrong with that. So if you guys try this, go ahead and comment down below and tell me how it came out. But this is the finished product. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe down below. And I admit, it was so good. And I hope you guys try it and comment down below.